hi guys welcome to the direct channel so we are back again to this strategy so today we will be discussing about the strategy that was able to make me a uh, uh, eight thousand dollar plus which you can see right here so this eight thousand dollar plus right here you can see from his seven hundred dollar account into a into his eight nine thousand dollar plus you can see we have a running trace we have a running trace on fix uh fifty one x and then the crash three hundred so uh today we will be discussing about the strategy and uh very sure you guys you guys want to uh check out the strategy here so what i want you guys to do is just make sure just make sure you watch this video to the end so you won't miss anything about the strategy and also if you're into the first channel don't forget to subscribe like i turn on a post notification and i was able to post new strategy in case you'll be aware and also guys we want to show you that we do something with your file account management so no matter how small or huge your equity is so just contact us for account management, we, we have our terms for our account management and the terms. We will send you the terms and the conditions. So, if you agree with the terms, then we are going to manage your account for you. So, so just contact the number seen on the screen or check the description below. You will see our uh, WhatsApp number right there. So, with that being said, let me jump in to today's strategy. So, today's strategy we'll be discussing the boss uh, let me first add to crash TV order. So, now. So uh, this is where we took our trade right here. You can see the trade was a sniper entry. Trade was a sniper entry right here. So this is where we took the trade. You can see this is where we took the right here. So uh, since then we have been uh, into a massive, massive profit. So now this strategy is used on. Uh, uh, let me show you guys the settings of the strategy for I uh, told you guys everything you know about the strategy. Now so the first thing you want to do is just go to the icon. So we get to that icon, then you're going to find where you can add your indicator up. So let me get everything up. So we are going to start from the uh from the scratch. Now uh, you can see I have a clean chart now. I have a clean chart. Now go to the icon and click on the F plus. So you click on the F plus, the first indicator you are going to be adding is the moving average. So you click on the moving average. Now the first parameter for the moving average is uh the period of six shift zero. The method is simple, apply this close, then I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the black color, so I'm going to be using the black color right here. So you can choose any color of your choice. You can set, choose any color of your choice. So when you set everything up like this, when you set everything up like this, then the next thing you want to do, next thing you want to do is just to uh, just to click, just to click on done. So when you click on done, then you are going to check your indicator right there. So now the next indicator I'm going to be adding. It's going to be a uh, uh, moving average right here. So click on the F plus, then add your moving average. So now the parameters for this moving average, the period is going to be 13. So we are going to be adding 13, 13 moving average. Uh, shift is zero. The method is also simple. Apply to close and the style. I'm going to be using this uh, blue color. So we set everything up like this. Take on done. And you have your uh, indicator right in your chart. Now the next indicator we are going to be adding is going to be the uh average national movement index so the average national movement the average national movement is the parameters for the uh average directional movement the period is 1000 uh on this and the style you can see we have the uh we don't need the we need the uh plus d1 and the minus d1 stars so that is the uh, style that we need and also we need the levels for this uh average directional movement we need the uh 75 levels and then the uh three level probably so we have everything up there's no content and you are good to go you are good to go now the next on the list the kettle are going to be adding is going to be sorry it's going to be our uh bleacher band so click on the air plus the search for your bleacher band now this is parameters for the bleacher band the period is 10 the division is 0 0.100 uh shift 0 but I apply to close and this time I'm going to be using the, uh, the black color. So we set everything up like this, very content, and you are good to go. These all settings you need for the uh, strategy. So it's to be need for the strategy. Now this strategy I'm going to be using you guys because I, I figure that most of you people like, like scalping than uh, holding position for uh, this. Now, so uh, before I teach you guys the scalping about strategy and how you guys can start using it, let me first show you guys how I was able to uh, to to make money right here so uh, the time frame uh, i'm using time frame that i duplify mostly is my 
one hour time frame and then the 15 minute time frame that's the time frame that i uh, mostly prefer now the first thing that i note right here is that you can see we have this blazer band right here we have this blazer band right here touching touching the uh blue line of the uh uh, average directional movement so when it touches the blue line when it touches the blue line the next thing you want to check out for is uh the indicator in our main chart so you can see we have this cross cross right here we have this cross happens right here so when the cross happens then the next time i'm waiting for is the market to retreat back to the uh blue line when the black line black movement will be crossing the blue moving away then you're expecting to see a it touches back there so I, when i first see this first touch right here I will see and jump back into this uh inside this uh moving away right here. Well, we will see we have this price going backward, but not not what not moving above this area right here. Then that's when I decided to jump into the position and I set my top list a little bit above this area right here. So I just set my top list with this area right there, just a, a little bit stop loss, just a little bit stop loss then. So then it has been running to a massive massive profit so it just uh it just simple as that so now the trade i'm going to show you guys the how you how are you are going to make use of the strategy on your one minute time frame is the same thing that are going to make use of the strategy on your higher uh, time frame now you trade that so now let me show you guys the scalping and let me show you guys the scalping how you can use strategy for scalping so now it's just a, a simple it's just a simple method right here so now let's say you want to catch uh five to ten candles and then you leave the market now this idea we are supposed to catch your spike now the first thing you want to see right here is check out this indicator on the one right here you can see we have a torches right here we have this uh this bridge job and touches the uh the good line the gold line right here so you see the torches now you are, you are not open your position yet you want to check out this main chart right here you want to see this black line Closing above this bullet right here. When you want to see a candle closing above it. When you can't see a candle close, and then you see a crossover happens, then that's when you are going to jump in. You catch your first and ten candles on the oil and leave the market. Or you might use this area right here. This is the area where the market spike last. This area where the market spike lies as your area of TP. So as simple as simple as that. As simple as that. Same thing applicable when you want to catch spike. So you expect to catch spike when you see a torches right here. You see a torches right here, you see a torches at the uh blue line right here. Then you want to see the you don't want to enter right here. We want to see you want to make sure that you see a crossover apples right here. And then when you see a crossover apples, you can see we have multiple spike right here. The next spike we want to you want to catch is just wait for this so for the price to come back to this blue uh blue moving average or the black one. When it, when it touches the blue or black moving average, then you want to open for yourself and then you catch you catch yourself. So as simple. As simple as that now for the VIX for the VIX to uh, let me show you guys the VIX trade right here soon. Now let's teach you uh, let's teach you our on our time frame right here. So uh, let me use my 15 minute time frame. Now you can see something right here. I've already missed the position, but I eventually I was able to catch some uh some profit. Now you can see we have these torches right here. See these torches right here, just a simple strategy. See these torches, we have these torches right here. And the next thing we want to see. Next thing we see right here is you could see that we have a crossover happens right here, which means that the black line crossing above the blue line right here. When the crossover happens, you can see multiple touches, multiple touches at the blue line right here, which means that it indicates for a buy. Now, I have to wait for the price to close above this line right here. When you can't do close above this, uh, the last so I start here right here down. That's that's when I jump into my position when in this candle I jump into my position and this is then I'll be able to do my trades and I still only to a massive massive profit. So let me show you guys the scalping aspect. Now since you have a cable just switch your one minute time frame. So when you get down to your one minute time frame you want to look for a better entries. Now let's say you want to go for a sale right here. The first thing you want to take note of you just your indicator on the one make sure it touches the uh sorry something now is happening right here so i don't think this strategy is just on um, for how many, how many time frame because somehow look okay so um guys this just means that this strategy is only for weeks this strategy is used on the 15 minute time frame and above it's not using on five minute time frame and the one minute time frame it's using on the 15 minute time frame and 
uh, but which means we can use it of 15 time frame, 30 minutes, one hour, and other time frame. So just simple as that, just simple as that, just wait for the paper, perfect confirmation. You can see we have it right here. See it touches at the gold line right here, and then it's indicate for itself. Then you want to see crossovers up most right here. When the crossover up most, then you wait when we cross over up most, then you wait for the price to come back to this blue line right here. When you come back to this blue line, that's when you are going to go for our sell. And for a buy position, for a buy position, this is it right here. You just just wait for the price right here to touching the uh, blue and then line when you touch the blue line then you jump in and look out for the crossover when the crossover happens you can see we have the crossover happens right here I mean, when you see the crossover happens then that's when you want to jump into your uh buy position and then you make you make your money so as simple as that i don't want this video to be much longer as simple as that so you, you can see i'm still running to a massive massive profit right here so if you are new to have your channel don't forget to subscribe like and turn on post notification anytime i was able to put in strategy because you'll be aware thank you guys i'll see you in the next video bye